<clears throat> well, I am back. And, like I promised you, I'm going to be doing one. I'm going to be showing off the rest of my other sketchbooks. But before that happens, I'm going to tell you, like, what just happened, like, after. What well, happened between what just happened before in that little clip and right now. There's little speakers right here. I was being a little bitch on me. So then, this is what I did. You know, cause it, it's, it's honestly being like, uh, cause you can honestly say like, device disconnected, device connected. Like you just kept you know, going back and forth. I guess I didn't really charge it much, but when I was ha doing that, like all the time, I was like, why you bad, you bad, Now, let's get the little sketchbook I'm talking to you about. Just making sure, just telling you guys that this stuff is real. I actually do have it. I have proof of it. It's not stolen shit. Cause I, I know about that kind of shit. It just like, like thieves don't just like reside with only money and all stuff. Thieves don't just reside with only like furniture and all those things. Thieves can also take in other people's art. So basically, this is what it is. This first sketchbook was actually one of my first ones I had back in 6th grade. Uh, I had an explanation saying, Okay... Hi, Dad. Hey, Dave. Make a video. Make a video? Yeah. Make a video show? Yeah. So, it says, Okay, there are sketches of my series... Alright, I crossed that out. State of madness. The only reason why I didn't... The only reason why... I only drew it here was because I didn't have Adobe Flash, later on I will. P.S. I don't know how to use Adobe Flash. And I still don't. Um, and it says also, I might actually make my series in 3D format. My show, I mean. There's, there, there's three different stories, Tainted Rocks, Dead Mutation, I, I, had, to, I had to cross that out, and Biohazard Warfare. Area of Madness, and I, I just wrote this one down right now, like, well, not, not now, but, like, when I came back to it, like, during this year or so. Somewhere, like, during this year or last year, I don't know. State of Madness. The Area of Madness was changed to State of Madness. Seen more, seen more eye-catching, like, State of Decay or State of Emergency, plus some, uh... Someone wanted to make some story that had the same like initials as mine. I doubt AOM would be as successful as SOM. Honestly, um, I had to change. I had to change it for those reasons, and this is like one of the first drawings I had. And I mean, it was detailed, but like when I look at it back at it now, it looks pretty bad. So. Um, and I also tried to do this part. Back then, I was very like interested in like this one movie. It was Thai, but they make some really good movies, you know. I don't know if you could see it. And then uh, back in sixth grade, I was like very like interested into Hillbillies, right? Cause I like one of my first movies I watched was like The Wrong Turn or some shit. I don't know. I was, I was a big Hillbilly fanatic. And then, uh, I wanted to do some more hillbilly related stuff. But then I was like, eh. I stopped it for a while, I forgot why. So then I moved to, uh, I moved back into this, like, sketchbook in, like, uh, freshman year. And this is what I did during that time. Try to, like, re redesign my zombies and shit. Uh,. And then, like, I try to, like, redesign it a little bit more, make it a little bit better looking. And then... Like, there's not just some, some random drawings of, like, zombies. I had to, like, put some explanations down on there and, like, tell them like, what they, uh... What they, like, can do and so-and-so kind of stuff. I say, like, uh... Can't eat all the time. They only eat when necessary. 
they chatter their teeth when they're when they don't want to be bothered while eating. Well, I actually kind of want to do that as a more natural thing for them. This virus was created to fight against the terrorist virus. If they can't eat, they won't get enough energy to mutate. That's a that's a that's a new kind of concept, you know what I'm right? Next scene, uh, well, I guess you know what I mean. Don't pay attention to that. That's just my sister's scene. And this is like the bioterrorists' ideas, like they're zombies. They're kind of orangish. I wanted to like make them kind of like a grotesque, ugly look to them. I like give them a lot of boils and all stuff because I think boils are disgusting, but they're something that's kind of interesting to draw. And I just like have this little pop-up scene right here, showing like the differences in sizes, like once they mutate. I want to like do some more body horror and all this stuff. Like this guy, I call him like fucking a possum man, and they're just like part of like this like like biomass uh, like little contamination growth. I don't think any other like zombie movie has ever done that. I want to like, do some more. Uh, I want to do some like original characters and all stuff. They call it OCs for short, but usually most of the time OCs you would usually have like long emo hair or just like long hair and all that like dumb shit. Or just another anthropomorphic animal, which I fucking hate. Cause why why would you make that dumbass shit when you could easily just make characters out of like realistic kind of characters, you know? Like why not why not like why would you have to like make characters that are like emo and edgy like oh yeah my serial killer and all that shit when in reality you can just make I don't know some like really just really disturbing and like downright like hideous looking characters like, like stop like stop making your characters look so pretty so often or stop making them like try to look all cute and shit this right here this will probably stick to your mind for a pretty long time to do some more characters when well, these aren't characters but like it's a little another concept and some other characters well this one here I like him the most he's got this like badass skull tattoo on the right side of his face like XCON turned into uh, a famous US soldier He's, he's a super soldier, so, and he works in like this type of military branch of the U.S. government that doesn't, that doesn't really exist, but I created it myself, so, it, it's fine, it's all fictional, but big respects to them, and it is, I got into like this thing kind of feel, because this is like during, set during December, more December stuff. More of this ugly shit. More like mutation ideas. Um, drawing these without references is fucking hard as shit. And trying to draw these with, with references, uh, kind of hard, but something new. This was fun to draw, I remember. Just like drawing some more characters. More like ideas and all that stuff. Oh yeah, this is like one of my best. I had to like use a uh, dead horse as a reference. I, uh, yeah, I I find it fun to like uh, look up. I find it fun and messed up to like look up like like dead things to like help me out and draw stuff. And I had to like get some more ideas for drawing these kind of characters. And I wanted to like go back onto like the thing kind of feel to everything, so spider centipede looking hand. And then like this thing. I remember like this one dude like he was like watching me like draw that like damn you drew that? Like yeah, yes I did. Fuck yeah. And I'm like going back to like the orange zombie virus again. More boils, more disgusting shit. And a whole lot more 
stuff going on. Ugh, Cannibal Holocaust. Anyone ever seen that movie? This thing. I want to like make it a little like turf war with the cannibals and mutants. Uh, this kid. It's like a little. I want to do like a little boy meets girl thing. I don't know. I was. I was very sad and fucking lonely at the time. Um. <laughs> uh, so we got some like environmental like ideas. I love I love trying to do the environment kind of ideas. I miss the snow, honestly. I wouldn't mind seeing these like out in the mountains somewhere. I have some like big ass people who are big ass monsters who are like once big ass zombie looking monsters who are, like who are once human. Like walk around in the snow. Smashing the shit out of everyone. Biting people's heads off and just like eating half of their bodies. Oh, some more mutation ideas. More body horror shit. Oh, can't show you that. Oh, uh, so this dude right here. Oh, I was trying to like put up as much ideas as possible. Uh, some other more characters, more environmental ideas. More characters, some more uh, ideas for like mutations and all that stuff. Uh, try to make CPUS like this, like little like federal agency that kind of like gets a little bit suspicious. Um, some more stuff. I like making these mutant guys and more mutant guys. I accidentally spilled some water right there. That's why it's so wrinkly. Uh, but these are the other three mutant guys. This guy's actually wearing uh, another head as a hat, like just from the last video. I don't think you've seen this one, but I want to like, make this like serial killer kind of character based off and like a big uh, shout out to like the old ones. And then some of the rebels, I think you've seen these ones. Well, not this one, but this is like probably one of my best. And then you see. And we're going back to like the old thing again, and we are back here with me and, the, and myself. Well, what'd you think, huh? But I might show you guys this one later. Uh, as you can see, it has a much clearer like sign on it. So, but not now. This video is getting a little bit too big. So, on Instagram, I always put it down in the description. So make sure to check that out to see some more artwork. And I'll see you guys later. <coughs> like, comment, subscribe. Just do whatever you want. I don't know.